Well, good afternoon, church family. It's good to see you here uh, on this Thursday afternoon. Let's pray together and ask God's blessing, shall we? Father, we thank you for the time where we can spend in your word here today. And Lord, our prayer is that you'd bless us and help us, that you would strengthen our hearts and minds to receive the truth of your word here today, that it would make a great difference, Lord, that you'd help us and see uh, just all that you're able to do in our lives. And so, Father, we pray that you bless the devotion, Lord, and, and Lord, would you please send us revival. And we ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to our weekday family devotions. We're glad you're here. We welcome you who are joining on our Facebook and our YouTube channel. Go ahead, like, share, and subscribe to these posts, these channels, and uh, that way God will uh, can continue to work through your heart and life as we try our best uh, to keep the Word of God before ourselves here in our church. But let's look here in Psalm 108 this afternoon. And we're going to read all 13 verses and make application at the end. But notice what the Bible says beginning in Psalm 108 and verse number 1. O God, my heart is fixed. I will sing and give praise even with my glory. Awake psaltery and harp. I myself will awake early. I will praise thee, O Lord, among the people. I will sing praises unto thee among the nations. For thy mercy is great above, all, above the heaven, and thy truth uh, reacheth unto the clouds. In verse 5, the Bible says, Be thou exalted, O God, above the heavens, and thy glory above all the earth, uh, that uh, thy beloved may be delivered, save with thy right hand, and answer me. God hath spoken in his holiness. I will rejoice. I will divide Shechem. I will meet out the valley of Sukkoth. Uh, Gilead is mine. Manasseh is mine. Ephraim also is the strength of mine hand. Judah is my lawgiver. Moab is my washpot over Edom. Uh, will I cast out my shoe over Philistia? Will I triumph? Who will bring me into the strong city? Who will lead me into Edom? Wilt not thou, O God, who hast cast us off? Who, and wilt not thou, O God, go forth with our host? And the Bible says in verse 12, Give us help from trouble, for vain is the help of man. Through God we shall do valiantly. For he it is that shall tread down our enemies. If you have a pen handy, won't you mark what the Bible says in verse 12? For vain is the help of man. Vain is the help of man. As we consider our lives today, uh, the troubles that we face, all the uncertainty, all of the, all the headaches, all of the, the questions, the unknown, uh, oftentimes we look to man for solutions and for answers, don't we? Uh, we often look to our own, our own wisdom, our own understanding, our knowledge of a situation, and try to make the best judgment we can. Uh, but, but you and I, we can't do anything. In vain is the help of man. It's worthless. The help of man is worthless. Uh, but through God, look in verse 13. Through God we shall do valiantly, for he it is that shall tread down our enemies. Through God. Christian, won't you circle that statement? Through God. Through God. What's the answer? The Lord's the answer. What are you facing today? Whether great or small, easy, uh, insignificant, whatever the case is, Jesus is the answer. Uh, it, is, it is through God uh, we, shall, we shall do valiantly. I can't live my life apart from Him. I can't get out of bed without the Lord. I can't navigate through life. I can't come through my day. I can't go to work. I can't. I can't study. I can't. I can't do uh, fulfill the responsibilities that I have without the Lord. All of these things we must learn to live through the Lord. I can do all things through Christ, which strengtheneth me. And it's through God that we shall do valiantly. Christians, have faith in the Lord. I want to encourage you today to just take a, take a step back and take a fresh look at Jesus Christ. Look at your life in light of the Lord. What, uh, how much stress do you have? How much unneeded stress is in your life? If you would just take a step back and give it to the Lord in prayer, uh, allow God to take it, allow God to, uh, to, to, to lead you through it, because through God we shall do valiantly. Vain is the help of man. Uh, we can't help one another. We can try to be a blessing and an encouragement. But ultimately the help that we need comes from God. And so what help do you need today? Won't you turn to God? Won't you give it to the Lord in prayer? Ask God. Don't give some general prayer. I, I heard a preacher say not long ago that many times 
we pray without asking. We pray and don't pray. Uh, we pray and don't receive because we don't we don't ask. And you know, be specific. Ask God for specific things because through Him, you and I can do valiantly. And God hears and answers prayer. Here that cometh, he that cometh to God must believe that He is, and that He's a rewarder of them that diligently seek Him. Christian, through God, won't you remember that today? Whatever you face, remember it's through God, through God, through God, through God. And uh, don't allow yourself to be overwhelmed. Look to God by faith. Heavenly Father, we love you. And we thank you for the day you've given us. Or we realize that uh, vain is the help of man and, and all the help we need, the, all the help we'll ever need, uh, comes solely from thee. And so, Father, may we live this day understanding that it's through God that we shall live valiantly, that we can triumph, that we can have victory, that we can have an abundant life that Christ promised. So, Lord, help us keep our, our faith fixed firmly upon Jesus Christ today and live consciously in your presence. But, Lord, meet the needs that we have. Lord, no matter what the trouble is, we ask that you would, that you would bring the solution and uh, alleviate your people, God, and just give victory today. And help us, we ask, in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, thank you for being with us here this afternoon. As always, it's a great pleasure uh, and encouragement to have you. Please know we love you. We're praying for you. Look forward to seeing you tonight at 7 o'clock right here at church. We've got our midweek uh, prayer meeting and Bible study. And tonight, uh, since we be, we finished our, uh, our uh, Bible survey, we're beginning something new tonight. I want to encourage you to come and be part of what God has for you. But uh, we're praying for you. Look forward to seeing you today. God bless you. Bye-bye.